Have you ever asked yourself, what Cricut should I buy? Then you've come to the right place. I'm Sarah, I have been crafting with Cricut for years, and today I am gonna break down the five currently available machines and help figure out which one is right for you. You're watching Creative Ramblings, where I share simple crafts, tutorials, and reviews. Today we're breaking down the five available Cricut machines, and I'm gonna help you figure out which one's right for you. So let's start with the basics. What is a Cricut? A Cricut is a smart cutting machine that can cut just about anything. Paper, vinyl, iron-on, even wood and fabric. Cricut works with a really user-friendly design interface that works with your computer or your phone. These are the machines that are currently available, the Joy, Explore Air 2, Explore 3, Maker, and Maker 3. All five of these have a few things in common. They are all smart cutting machines that can cut paper, vinyl, iron-on, and more. They all work with the free Cricut design space that's available on your phone, via an app, or on your computer. Each machine is Bluetooth capable, meaning you don't need any cords to hook this up to either your phone or your computer. Let's take a look at the Explore family of machines. This is the Explore Air 2 and the Explore 3. The Cricut Explore family of machines is perfect for those who want to cut popular materials like vinyl to make stickers, iron-on to make t-shirts, and paper to make cards, gifts, and decor. The Explore Air 2 is the original smart cutter and it's an amazing value. This machine weighs about 10 pounds, so it's on the lighter side, it's got a little button that opens everything up. It's got a couple places for tool storage. And it even has this little cartridge here. This is a throwback to the original Cricut that used to use cartridges to store your designs. Over on the other side, we've got a dial that helps you choose your material that you're cutting. There's also a custom setting so that you can pick your own material. This machine uses a mat to cut materials and it can cut over a hundred. It cuts up to 12 inches wide and just under 24 inches long when you use one of the extended mats. It has two clamps that can hold six different tools. These tools can cut, write, score, and foil. You can also use the print then cut feature with this machine, meaning you can print designs on your home printer and cut them out on your machine. The Explore 3 is the newest Explore version. I don't own this one, but I can tell you a little bit about it. It has everything that the Explore Air 2 has and more. It doesn't have a little dial on the side, meaning it's completely controlled through Cricut Design Space when you're creating your project. It is faster and it can cut smart materials without a mat. So you're able to cut up to 13 inches wide and 75 feet long, meaning a whole roll of vinyl continuously if you wanted to make large decals. So let's talk about the Maker machines. The original Cricut Maker was a big step up from the Explore series. This machine can now cut over 300 materials and it can use up to 13 different tools. I think the biggest perk of the Maker versus the Explore machines is that you get a commercial grade machine. We can cut wood, we can cut leather, we can cut all kinds of thick materials. And with these 13 different tools, you can engrave, you can deboss, you can cut perforated lines, all kinds of different things. So the Maker series really opens up your options for the different materials you can cut and in turn the different projects you can make. The Maker 3 is the newest machine in the Cricut family. It is kind of like the Dream Machine. So it is heavy. It's got a bigger and faster motor, so it weighs 23 pounds. The Maker 3 has everything that the Explore and Maker have. It is very similar to the Explore 3 in that it can cut smart materials up to 75 feet long. That means it can cut up to 13 inches wide with smart materials as well. It also has a roll holder that can attach to it that helps hold your roll of smart material so it doesn't go all over the place. The Maker 3 is great for 3D projects, sewing, and fabric projects. 
What I love about this machine is it can use 13 different tools to engrave metal, acrylic, cut wood, thick fabric, leather, all kinds of things. It uses the adaptive tool system or quick swap tools, which means you have a single housing and you can change out all the tips. They include a scoring or a double scoring wheel, a debossing tip, an engraving tip, and a perforation and wavy blade. So a lot of different things you can swap out here and use only with the Maker 3. This is the Cricut Joy. It's a little powerhouse of a machine. It's tiny, it's portable, it just plugs into an outlet and then you can operate it from your phone. Small, lightweight, it can cut on a mat or a card mat like this. It can also cut smart materials, it can write with a pen and use a foiling tool. It can't do print then cut, but I do have a video up here showing you how to work around that and make your own stickers with a joy. This is a great crafting tool if you are an occasional crafter or just getting started. So we've covered all five machines and talked about what each one of them can do. So now let's talk about pricing. This is a breakdown of the regular prices of all five machines. Now I'll have to say that there is a sale on at least one of these at all times. So a few tips when shopping around for your new Cricut machine. Always take a look for deals and sales. Keep an eye out on those big holidays like Black Friday or a summer special. Look for sales. Cricut is available at Cricut.com. You can also find it at retailers like Michael's, Joanne, Target, even Costco. Buying a bundle is another really good way to go. You can get the machine you're looking for and a whole bunch of materials catered to the products that you want to try. This is gonna help you get started without buying a bunch of materials. If you're shopping on Cricut.com, be sure to use the code CREATIVE to save 10% off your purchase. All right, so we've covered everything. You know what the machines can do. We've talked about pricing. Now I wanna give you some recommendations. If you are a crafter, you love crafting, you love making all the things, maybe you have an older machine or a different brand and you're looking to upgrade, I highly recommend the Cricut Maker 3. This machine is a workhorse. It can cut over 300 materials. It is fast. It can cut smart materials up to 75 feet long, and it works with 13 different tools. My Maker 3 works all the time. I use it for my big projects, and I absolutely love it. If you are a novice crafter, maybe you craft every now and then as a hobby, you like making customized shirts for your friends, you like making cards at Christmas time, maybe you like to make the occasional piece of home decor. The best machine for you is going to be the Cricut Explore Air 2. This machine can cut over a hundred different materials. It uses six different tools, allowing you to cut, write, score, and foil. What I love about the Air 2 is its price. You can find this for well under $200 if you take a look at the sales that are going on at different retailers and at Cricut.com. My third recommendation is going to be for the Joy. I have two bigger machines, but I use my Joy all the time. This tiny little guy can do so much. I make my own cards for every holiday and occasion, and I get out my Joy. I might put it in my craft room. I might stick it on the kitchen counter and I make customized cards just using my phone. If you shop sales, you can find the Joy for around $100. I've seen it at Costco before, at Target, at Michaels. Look for deals. If you are a once in a while crafter, you like making cards, maybe you wanna make labels for your pantry, the Joy is for you. So I hope this helped you figure out what Cricut you should buy. We covered everything these machines can do, the price breakdown, and my three recommendations for you. If you have any other questions about Cricut, take a look down in the description. I've linked a bunch of videos that might interest you, or you can take a look at this playlist up above. You can always drop me a comment and ask me your questions down there as well. If you found this video helpful, if you like craft tutorials and reviews, consider subscribing to Creative Ramblings. I'm here every week with new videos. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time.